We've been doing motion captures from wearing a full body suit to setting up six iPhones in a circle to make an AI compute the body movement. Both require you to throw money at it. So I was wondering, are there any free solutions? Yes, but is it actually good? That's what I want to try and find out in this video. So obviously you get the best tracking with a suit. It's full with sensors, so small movements like your fingers are captured in a high detail. You know, something AI struggles with, although Move AI found a great solution. You just buy six iPhones iPhones, put them in a circle around you to capture video from every angle. That way the AI gets a much better idea of what your fingers are doing. And it works super good. I would even claim that this comes very close to what a suit can do. But it costs a subscription and don't forget about the iPhones. Now don't get me wrong, worth every penny, but most of us just want to give motion capture a try or maybe it's for a personal project. So looking at the free solutions out there, I think Rococo Vision is the best option. And are the same guys behind the suit, so they know what they're doing. Now they also have a dual camera option, but that is paid. So we're gonna focus on the single camera setup in this video as it's 100% free. Oh, by the way, Rokiko is not sponsoring this video. Storyblocks is, however, but more about them later. So Rokiko Vision works in your browser. That means we can use any camera for the motion capture, be it your phone, an SLR, an Ari Alexa. Recommended is that you shoot at full HD or higher to give enough detail to the AI and that you capture at 60 frames per second. Again, to give enough data to the AI. If your camera doesn't allow that, you can use Topaz Video AI to both scale up the video for a higher resolution or turn it into smooth 60 frames. So I'm just gonna use my phone. It can shoot 60 frames in Full HD. Now you get two options. You can stream your video directly into Vision, even using your phone and a dedicated app, or you can record a video separate and then upload that. Both work the same, I'm just gonna record it separate. You wanna make sure that the AI sees your body shape well, so don't wear too baggy clothes. I Ideally in a t-shirt so that your joints are visible. And try to find a spot where your background is clean. It doesn't have to be a perfect white wall like I have, but just clean up your room. Then do your movement. And for the sake of this test, I'm gonna turn around, move my fingers, and really push the motion capture to see by the end of the video what works and what not. So then you upload that video into Rokoko Vision. And once done, you can always crop out a certain part if needed. But if all looks good, simply click on Turn into Animation. And now now as we wait for the results to come in, I want to show you guys something really cool. And that is Storyblocks, the sponsor of this video. They offer unlimited downloads of a diverse and high quality media for one predictable subscription cost, so say goodbye to expensive paperclip pricing. Storyblocks curated stock library has everything you need to create high quality video in one place, with over a million 4K and HD footage, templates, music, sound effects, images, and more. Choose from thousands of pre-made professional video templates for your favorite video editing program, including After Effects, Premiere Pro, Apple Motion, and DaVinci Resolve, which are now available in your Storyblocks library. Create better videos faster with customizable DaVinci Resolve templates, from motion graphics to animated sequences. Their DaVinci Resolve templates are essential to creating professional-looking videos at scale. Save time by accessing Storyblocks' entire stock library in Premiere Pro and After Effects by using their Storyblocks plugin for Adobe Creative Cloud. They commission control to fill gaps and clean out media that you don't use to ensure the media library is high quality, fresh and diverse. And anything you download with Storyblocks is 100% royalty free. You stay protected by the highest level of legal coverage in the industry. To get started with unlimited stock media downloads at one set price, head to storyblocks.com forward slash cinecom or simply click the first link in the description down below. And in the meantime, the processing is done. Let's have a look. It is doing something. That is a good start. Now, I do notice that it has some trouble figuring out when my arm goes forward and backwards here. So it's kind of missing some depth information there. Now, when I turn around, it does do a good job at that. My arms are not popping into weird places or anything like that. But here it's interesting. When I move my fingers, it, it doesn't do anything. So my guess is that it just cannot do fingers. And the jump on the end is kind of misaligned there. But but I'm surprised that it got the movement right. Okay, so free motion capture is not for those high detailed shots. Perhaps we gotta look at it differently. Keeping the limitations in mind, how can we get great motion capture out of this?
this. Well, think of situations where you don't need details like the finger movements. For instance, this mutant, which I want to control. It has to do something specific, so I can't just download an animation. I have to record the motion myself, but I don't need those fine details. So I record myself again and performed simple movements, acted like a mutant. And this turned out great. The ugly fella does exactly what I wanted to do. Now, what about a talking head? I'll be using a close-up of a meta-human 3D model, so the only motion I need is my body moving a bit. I just record that and put it on the meta-human. Great, I can now capture my face separately using another free app from Unreal Engine. And by the way, I got it mounted in Rokoko's brand new head gear. Again, they're not sponsoring, but they did send it over to me. It has a counterweight and it moves with my head, so that is perfect. I am really loving it so far. So anyways, here is a talking head using only free tools. Except for the head rig, maybe. Finally, you can have full body captures for a human, but you present it in such a way that those details are not important. Like this character in silhouette looks really cool from back here. Free AI motion capture is not there yet, but that doesn't surprise me. I mean, why make something for free that performs the same as your paid products? But that doesn't mean that it's unusable. Work around the limitations and you can create some really cool stuff. And if you would like to learn how to do face motion capture in Unreal Engine 5, just check out the video here on my left. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you, Storyblocks, for the support. And as always, stay creative.